Hello and welcome to the Knowledge Catalogs Earth and Space Science 9's 13th episode. Alright, so this 13th episode is comprised of the following parts. The first part being a discussion on the apparent and absolute brightness of stars. And then the second part is another discussion about what is a constellation. And then the last part is an activity. Activity number two, patterns in the sky. So for this um, 13th episode, we are supposed to still practice on the following learning competency. Learning competency number eight, infer that the arrangement of stars in a group or constellation does not change. Right, so if you want to follow through with your learner's module, you can open it, you can open it in unit three, module three, pages nine to 11. Let's begin. Okay, so um, brightness, as we know it, refers to the ano, liwanag. Okay, kung gaano kaliwanag ang isang uh, between in this in this case, as we see it, uh, as we see it from the planet. Um, every night, uh, perhaps, um, kung yeah, or most of the nights, uh, we see stars in the sky and uh, they seem to twinkle, right? Yeah, okay. So apart from that uh, twinkling, we also noticed that uh, they seem to have the same kind of, you know, the same kind of brightness, whereas some stars are more dominant in the sky, in the blackness of the sky, than other stars. Um, why is that so? Uh, so first, we need to, you know, we need to differentiate muna. Ano ba yung nakikita natin? Okay, yung nakikita natin brightness ng mga stars, um, that is different from the actual brightness ng star. Okay, so yung nakikita natin mismo, you call that apparent brightness of a star. Okay, so again, that is called apparent brightness. It is a star's brightness at, at, as it is seen from the planet. Okay, so uh, from, based from, ano, from just observing, so this activity was supposed to be uh, an, an activity na mag-observe ka ng star. <laughs> okay, so based from ano, just observing the, the sky, um, you will see uh, the apparent brightness uh, that is depending on how far away a star is from the Earth. Uh, so, halimbawa, in this, ano, in this illustration, uh, your eyes can see uh, these stars uh, as, you know, uh, equally uh, bright okay, on, on the sky, in the sky. Whereas, uh, actually, uh, if you're gonna talk about uh, their actual brightness, now B, okay, star B, is supposed to be brighter compared to star A. Again, yun nga lang, Ay, yung apparent brightness nila, yung na-observe mong brightness nila, uh, pareho lang. Okay? The absolute brightness of a star is its actual brightness. Okay? Kung halimbawa, pare-pareho yung distance ng mga ano, ng mga stars sa planet Earth, um, ibig sabihin nun, uh, may observe natin yung talagang, uh, yung totoong brightness talaga nila. Okay? Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's actually the simplest we can put it. The actual brightness of a star is called its at absolute brightness. The uh, the brightness of a star as we see it from Earth that is called apparent brightness. Okay, para ganda na rin yan actually. Um, a, a phone, yung yung phone natin, yung mga screens ng phone natin. Um, kung anin bawa masadyo sa malapit sa atin, uh, and then we are in a very dark uh, area. We seem to see it, and then all other bright objects that is uh, around us are less no noticeable because our phones are the brightest things uh, near us, uh, and because they are also near us. Whereas kapag alimbawa naman, okay, another example, ang isang ano, ang isang uh, headlight, ang headlight ng car, di ba? Pansin mo yun? Kapag malayo pa siya, uh, hindi pa siya gaanong maliwanag, pero pag papalapit ng papalapit, Diba, lumi lumiliwanag siya lalo, mas nakikita mo yung light. Okay, so, uh, meron talaga, hindi naman nagbago yung brightness niya, yung headlight na yun, ganito talaga yung brightness niya. It's just that, uh, ma medyo makapal yung distance, I mean, ma medyo malayo yung distance nung uh, car, the, the, car's, the car's headlight before, and that it just went closer. Okay? Ayun. Okay, so, um, halimbawa, in this example, uh, Sirius appears to be a very, very uh, bright star in the night sky, okay, compared sa mga ibang stars na yun, na to, when in fact, okay, when, when in fact, uh, the absolute magnitude or absolute brightness of all these other stars are actually, ano, a lot compared kay Sirius. Ito nang talaga siya, no? Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ito, apparent brightness, kung titingin ka talaga sa, ano, sa sky, uh, on a night, clear night sky, makita mo sa Sirius, siya yung pinaka-bright na star. 
Pero uh, kung titingnan kung talagang ano kung magkakaroon sila ng equal distance okay sa planet Earth, uh ganito yung makikita mo, super bright ng mga ibang stars na to that they that are seeming that they, that seem to be less bright compared to Sirius. Ayan. Ayan. So um I hope that uh, you get the difference between apparent and absolute brightness. So if you want to just uh, read more one more example, Sirius and uh, Rigel, you can just uh, go ahead and read uh, this uh, sentence right here. Okay? Okay. For the second part, uh, let us talk about what a constellation is. Okay, so observers in ancient times, yung mga super duper, ano, super duper um, um, tagal ng time in our history, ancient times na talaga, They imagine group of stars, groups of stars that form pictures of animals, uh, objects, and people. Uh, these imaginary groups of stars are called constellations. Ang mga constellation, when we say constellation, we refer to a group of stars. And uh, speaking of animals, uh, this, ano, this constellation right here, uh, this resembles, according to, ano, to ancient people, an eagle. na naka-spread uh, widely yung kanyang uh, wings. Uh, this is Aquila. Uh, it's named Aquila. Uh, it's a it's re- it is resembling an animal. When it comes to objects naman, may mga ano, may mga constellations na compasses, mga telescopes. And then may uh, people naman, ba, si Cassiopeia o kaya si Orion. Ayun. So many of these constellations have names that can be traced back to early Babylonians and the Greek civilization. But nearly all cultures, as in iba't ibang kultura, uh, they have different names for the constellations. Kahit na hindi pa uso ang internet, connect, ang internet before, meron na tayong mga common denominators talaga as humans. And that is uh, looking for patterns in the sky. Okay, so halimbawa na lang ng, ano, ng isang constellation na major famous is Uh, the way it was named in uh, Greece. So the Greeks called this large constellation Orion, uh, which means the hunter, and it is prominent in the sky all over the world during winter. Okay, it is a very, very large constellation. Si Orion, ayan siya. Okay, pero yung mga early Filipinos, so, so yung si Orion, para sa mga Greeks, itong constellation na to, it is a Greek hunt. It is a hunter. Okay, pero para sa mga early Filipinos, We visualize the same, almost the same group of stars as balatik. A balatik is a trap used in hunting wild pigs. Okay, so, ayun. The same constellation observed by uh, two different cultures. Now, for the Greeks, they call it a hunter. They named it after a hunter. Whereas for Filipinos naman, they named it after a tool that they use in hunting wild pigs. For Christian Filipinos naman, these three stars right here, One, two, and three. I, uh, yung, yung Orion's belt for the Greeks. Uh, they, these are called the Tatlong Maria or Tres Marias para sa mga Christian Filipinos. O, oh, di ba? Iba-iba yung <laughs> pagpapakulogan natin sa kanila. Ayan. Uh, ganyan talaga. Okay, iba-iba yung kultura. Ang pinanggalingan ng mga pagpapakulogan na yan. Okay, and the, la- the last part of this session is activity number two, Patterns in the Sky. So what you need to do is you need to group stars together in a recognizable pattern. So this is a very easy activity. But you're supposed to do it uh, ng gabi. Yung clear night sky, meron talaga kayo makikita mga stars. Okay? So when the sky is clear and it was dark enough, look at the stars above sa may sky. Inside the box here, right here, or on, a sh- on your sheets of paper, or on your science notebooks, um, draw the patterns that you see. Uh, so, you have to also name the constellations you saw by searching for their names over the internet. So, yeah. Pwede rin kayo actually, pwede yung balikta rin ang process na to. Pwede yung maghanap muna kayo ng constellation sa internet. Tapos, uh, hanapin niyo siya sa night sky. That's also okay. Ayan. Okay, ang bilis, no? Ang bilis session na to. Okay, so uh, you were able to finish the following parts. A discussion on apparent and absolute brightness of stars. A discussion on what are constellations. And then an activity, activity number two, patterns in the sky. Um, we are through, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're through uh, with this learning competency inferring that the arrangement of stars in a group or constellation does not change. Um, as you may have seen, 
ancient Greeks have observed Orion, pero that arrangement of those stars that makes up Orion, it's still around up to, up to this day. Okay? Ancient Greeks na yun. Sobrang daming uh, days, sobrang daming years na nakalipas, pero the same constellation is still around. It did not change. And this is Sir CJ, and I hope that you learned something from Earth and Space Science 9, episode 13. And that I'll be seeing you in the uh, next video. Okay? I hope you're, you're having a very good day.